Okay, everybody, welcome. I'm Kelly with Travel Leaders. Thank you for joining us here today. We have a great presentation in store for you today with Nancy from Globus Family of Brands. I'm gonna just kick it over to her right away so she can get things started. If you have any questions along the way, please feel free to enter them in the chat and we'll make sure that we get them answered live or in the chat option. Take it away. Thank you, Kelly, and welcome everybody to this uh, presentation. We were just talking about travel and, you know, everybody's mind is on travel right now. We've kind of been stuck at home for a few years and we're all excited to be traveling. So what we're going to look at today is the Globus family brands, who we are, you know, what is really encompasses our overall brand, and then just give you a couple of my favorite itineraries in Europe. And we're going to end with Cuba because we just announced that we're going to be going back to Cuba. So let's start with just talking about the Globus family of brands. We are a conglomerate of many different brands in our portfolio. And we'll talk a little bit about um, what makes us you know, tick, where we've been. We started in 1928, if you can imagine that. And I say that, and I like to tell people that because you are going with a company that has been around through the Spanish flu. It has been around through World War, through 9-11, and we have survived it all. And I love these pictures because we started over in Lugano, Switzerland, and our home office is still in Lugano. You can see our lovely little motor coach there on the left. That was our first motor coach. And of course, our all men directors um, over there on the right. So we have come a long way and you know, we are one of the largest and the oldest tour companies in the world. So you're really in good hands. You know, look at how many different tours we do between our Globus products, our Cosmos, and our Avalon Waterways. And we'll talk about two of these brands. Over 400 vacations on six continents, 72 countries, and again, how our longevity has been. So what is exactly today's tour? You know, I started a few years ago in this tour business and we would be on motor coach tours and we would play bingo and we would sing songs. But, you know, we've really matured over the years with what exactly is in today's tour. And look at these beautiful motor coaches. Um, we recently, I should say right before COVID, purchased all new motor coaches. You can see there's two doors on them. So it makes it very quick for people to get on and off. There is a restroom. There's really a lot of leg room on the motor coaches. And I know you're going to get excited when I tell you there's free Wi-Fi on these motor coaches. But what's really nice about it is that we have a tour director and we have a separate person who is a motor coach driver. I know that may sound silly, but that's not the same way with every tour company. We really feel that the motor coach driver needs to do what they do best and pay attention to the road. And our tour director is there to really make sure that everything is taken care of for you, that you know where you're going, what sightseeing you're doing, and any you know things that you need along the way that they're there to help you. So let's talk about Globus, which is really our mothership of our brand. So that is our land touring. I kind of want to tell you just sort of the different nuances with Globus. All of our hotels are four and five star hotels. And when we look at this picture and we say that it's all included, almost everything on your tour is included. So you're going to have in Europe, all of your breakfasts included, many meals included. You're going to have at least a half day sightseeing tour. So we have many things included so that you're going to have a little bit of extra time at the end of um, your day that you can do in the things that you want to do. But really, it's just a fabulous, um, all-encompassed tour. Now, as I said, our hotels, with the Globus family of brands, you are going to have four and five-star hotels. So why is this so important? When you're in these big cities, you want to be able to walk outside your hotel. You want eateries there. You want shopping there. You want to be right in the heart of the city. So it's a fabulous way to be able to look out your window and really see everything that is going on and have all of these things right at your fingertips. Now, this is probably my favorite one about the Globus brand. You know, we've been around a couple of years, you know, since 1923. We have VIP access. Our people in Europe have had such longevity and have such good relationships with all of our suppliers over there that you don't have to wait in lines. We go in side doors, we go in back doors. We don't want you waiting in the sun. We don't want you waiting in inclement weather. And more importantly, we want to get you in, see whatever site it is, and then we want you to have some of that extra free time so that you can do some of the things that you want to do. 
So it's almost kind of embarrassing because you want to walk in, you know, with your head down, you know, not look at the other people because we do bypass them and we get you in. And that is really nice, especially when you're doing things like the Vatican. Those lines are incredible. So we skip all that and we go right in and you're able to see that much quicker. Now we talked about our tour directors and I will tell you, they are some of the best in the world. To give you an example, our tour directors cannot even apply for a position until they've worked for another company for at least 10 years. And we do get about 4,500 applications a year. Out of that, we select about five. And out of that, only two will stay for another season. So we work them hard, but we, you know, they are the best of the business. And you know, when you are in Europe, a tour director is not just a part-time job. It's not just something that people do once they retire. This is a true profession. They have to go to school for this. They can't even always cross borders. They, we might have to have a, an, on, a step on tour guide from that city or that country. So it's a really big deal to be a tour director in the European market. Now look at this, how beautiful that is. We have on our tours, these local favorites. So these are really fun tours that, you know, we're gonna see the big sights and, and sounds and everything, but we also want you to see something that is off the beaten path. So some gardens that we may not know about or may not be in the, the tour books. Um, one of my favorite was in Ireland. We went to a farm, we got to make scones in this woman's kitchen of all things. And then we got to go play with the baby sheep. How fun is that? I mean, how many tours are you gonna to get to go on? And you get to go on the farm and you get to just play with all these cute little sheep and you get to feed them. So we try to go off the beaten path and see some of those local favorites because that's what really gives you that flavor of the area. And one of our tours that we had last week was we went to Alaska and we took our group to a musher camp, which is where the dogs are bred. And it was very interesting to hear about um, what they do with the dogs and everything. But the woman really talked about what it was like to live in Alaska. And people just love that because, you know, we know about the dogs and we get to hear about them and we get to play with the puppies. But what is it like? What is life like living in Alaska? So it was a really nice way. And we want to make sure that we're doing that on every tour. So again, here are our motor coaches. Um, nice, beautiful, state-of-the-art, of course, air-conditioned. You know, and I laugh when I say Wi-Fi because everybody says, oh, I would never need that. But you'd be amazed at how many people, you know, want to get on or they want to go on Facebook and take a picture and, and send it to everybody. So, of course, you're allowed one big suitcase for underneath the motor coach. And then you get to take a carry-on, which will either go under your seat in front of you or above you. And on all of our tours, we do rotate um, seats so that everybody gets a chance to sit in the front, in the back, and on each side of the motor coach. Now, with the Globus family of brands, we are more than happy to book your flight for you. And you will do that with your travel advisor at Travel Leaders. They know all the nuances. They know which routing to take you, which airlines. So they are really the experts in this. So let's talk about some funding. Should we? Let's talk about some of my favorite tours. This is actually one of my first tours that I took with the Globus family and brands, Intro to Ireland. Um, this is a very popular tour. Um, people do it all the time. This is a seven night, but we also have some longer tours that will encompass all of Ireland and get into the top if you want to see more of it in the first time you go. But we fly in and out of Dublin. Some of my favorite spots where we went to a horse farm. And this horse farm, it kind of sounds silly like, well, what would you do at a horse farm? But this is the largest horse farm in the world. And it has almost about 99% of all horses that race in the world go through this horse farm. So you get to see the honeymoon suites. You get to see all the little babies that are being born. And it's really a beautiful area. So it's a little bit of walking, but all very flat. One of the other areas is in Waterford. Guess what? you get to see Waterford Crystal. And you know, even if you say, I'm not gonna buy any, you walk out with something and you can ship it home. I bought a beautiful, beautiful Waterford um, vase, a very large one. It's about $120 US. It was only about $20 to have it shipped home. And it actually got home before I got home. So that was a, a nice thing. And you get to see these gentlemen and women who are etching some of the glass. and. Um, it's not the big factory, but it is a small factory that you get to watch and watch the craft. 
And then of course, it wouldn't be you know, Ireland if you didn't go and kiss the Blarney Stone. But here's our recommendation, don't kiss it. You can go see it, you can take pictures of it, but it is kind of fun, you have to do it. Right outside that area, there's wonderful woolen stores. So they have sheep wool and alpaca. And so if you're going to Ireland in these areas and you wanna buy some sweaters for maybe your grandchildren or for your relatives, know the sizes in the US, take a measuring tape and measure how many inches, take that measuring tape and then take it to Ireland and, and measure these because you will come home with blankets and sweaters and all kinds of beautiful crafts. So well, of course, one of my favorite tours if you're looking to go into Ireland. Now look at this little girl, Essential Britain, 12 days. Look at all the different places that you're gonna go. So you're gonna see all of um, Scotland in here. You're gonna see all of England. You're going to go to all the fancy places. You're gonna see, of course, where all the Beatles um, did everything You know, when they were over there. You're going to get into York, up into St. Andrews. I don't think you're going to be able to golf the golf course, but you're going to be able to see the area. So this is a very nice all-encompassing tour. Of course, it is 12 nights. You're a little bit on the go. Like if you look at this map, everywhere where you see one, we're a one night in that particular area. And the twos were two nights in that particular area. So this is a fantastic um, tour. Many of these places lately have been seen on many TV shows. And so this is a great tour to go over and really get a good, um, a, a good view of the whole Britain area. Here's an Italian sampler. So this is going to be giving you pretty much of the big three cities. You're gonna see Rome, um, Florence and Venice. So you're going to go from the north part of Italy all the way down to the south part of Italy. I think there might be a little bit of wine involved in this particular tour. In Rome, of course, you're gonna be able to go into the Vatican. And here's a little tidbit about the Vatican. We take you in there. And again, as I said before, we go past all the lines. They actually have a gift shop that you can purchase things in there. And you can actually um, have it blessed by a Cardinal and they will do that and they will have it sent back to your hotel. So many people find that a, a very um, emotional day that we get to do that, that we get to see that. Um, the gift shop also has postcards and it has stamps from Vatican City because the Vatican is in an actual city. And so you can have postcards sent from there from Vatican City. So that's kind of a fun little thing. Then we're going, going to go up into Florence, Monte Catini in Pisa, which we all know is the Leaning Tower of Pisa. And then we're going to go all the way up into the top part of Italy into Trento and over, end up in Venice. So this is a nice, good flavor of Italy. So if you haven't been there before, you will see the three main cities. And how about this? If you want to go to Sicily, this is a Sicilian. And I'll talk a little bit about our undiscovered tours in a bit. But our undiscovered, we started several years ago in Italy. We had found that people had done that tour that we just talked about. They did big three cities. And then they told us, you know what, we went to Italy, we'll never go again. We, we've seen all of Italy. But there is so much more to see in Italy off the beaten path in the undiscovered areas. And this is one of those tours. You are really going to um, get the whole Sicilian experience from you know, east to west, from north to south. And this is a fantastic tour. So if you thought you did Italy and you want to do um, Sicily, this would be the tour to do that. And of course, all of these tours to see a day-by-day -day itinerary, you want to go to travel leaders and talk to one of the travel advisors who are the experts in this. They can either email you an itinerary or they can have one printed off for you. And of course, this is always one of our most popular, London and Paris, seven days. You know, every time there's anything on TV about London and of course all the Royals, we see a big uptick in this. And look at this, you're going to take a train actually from London down to Paris. And this is a nice tour because it's three nights in London, three nights in Paris. Um, it's just a, a great way to really get a full um, view of everything that we do. And in Paris, we stay at the Pullman, which is about a block and a half away from the Eiffel Tower. So you can just walk out of your hotel room. You can go over there. You can walk there at night and see how beautiful lit up the Eiffel Tower is and, and feel very safe in that area. It's a, just a gorgeous experience. So a 
Of course, all of these tours can be done um, one way to the other or in reverse. So depending on your schedule or your likes, we can do that for you. Now here's a European sampler. So this is going to give you Paris to Amsterdam. And I would be remiss if I said, you know, don't, don't think about just ending in Amsterdam, but take on another day or two because Amsterdam is so beautiful. This is a beautiful picture of the canal there. And they have all these houseboats. So this picture doesn't show all the houseboats, but all the houseboats are lined up on the canal and people live on those. And so you're gonna have a tour in Amsterdam that will take you on the canal. And it's just so fascinating just to see how these people live on these houseboats. And again, I, I probably should have picked a little bit better picture, but if you can see all of the houses on the left a little bit, you can see through those trees. The people pay taxes by how wide their house is. So the front facade, however wide that is, that's how they pay their taxes. So in Amsterdam, you're going to see a lot of really thin houses and standing straight up. And that's why they're so skinny because they have to walk so many stairs to get throughout their whole house. But look at this uh, beautiful tour, Amsterdam and Paris. You get to go into the Palace of Versailles. And I will tell you in Versailles, to see the Palace of Versailles, we don't just go with everybody in all of these rooms with you know, 3,000 other people. We actually take you into the private apartments, which is really fascinating and nobody else is in there. So again, that's because we've been around so long. We have such good longevity with all of our suppliers. So we get to see that. Um, all the private areas. And then into Switzerland, into Lucerne, to see all the beautiful mountains, just beautiful areas. So if you're looking to do a little bit of a sampler, again, talk to the experts over at Travel Leaders. So I talked a little bit about our undiscovered tours. And as I said, we started this in Italy and it became very successful because people realized that there were so many other places to see than the big three cities. Then we went over to Britain and we do off the beaten path tours there. Then we moved into the Mediterranean. And then because of COVID, we ended up opening our North America earlier than we expected, but it's been very successful. And people still love to travel North America. And we're really going into some of these off the beat places that you will not see other motor coaches and you will not typically take a car to see some of these places. So if you're looking for something unique, Again, talk to the experts and they will show you some of these undiscovered tours. Now over COVID, because we had nothing to do and we came up with kind of a new product and this is our choice touring. You know, if anybody on this call has taken, uh, you know, a cruise of any kind, one of our riverboat cruises or one of the big ships, you know, as you get off, you get choices of tours, but we've never really been able to do that as far as um, choices on our tours. But now we can. We have developed uh, 13 different tours. Eight of them are over in Europe. Here is one of them over in Scotland. And you can see where these little red dots are. You actually get choices of tours. So in one of the cities, you might be able to do a, a winery and you might be able to go golfing. So just some really cool things. And again, it's not St. Andrews, but you will get on a golf course. So it just gives our people choices of things that they want to do. You know, some of us have seen a lot of wineries and we may not need to see another one. Some people have seen a lot of cathedrals over in Europe and so they want something different. So we've really been able to come up with some really cool tours. So again, um, the people over at Travel Leaders, they are going to be your best resource to get these itineraries. Because look at here they all are. Now we do have eight over in, in Europe and we have seven in the United States. Really fun names, but just a different type of touring where you get those options and you get to see something different. Now, Cuba, can't forget about Cuba. You know, we've always been wanting to come um, back. Of course, look at this, I should have changed as it was launching in 2020. Well, that clearly did not happen, but we are now starting out in this fall. Look at those buildings. Are those not the most beautiful colors you've ever seen? Now, I personally have not been to Cuba, but all the people that I know that have been, have said it's one of the most beautiful countries that they've ever seen. The, um, the, the off the beaten path, the, the trees and the mountains are so beautiful and the buildings are so beautiful. So if you're looking for something unique, we're starting again this fall and going through next year. We're doing an eight night Havana to Havana. And Cuba does something a little bit different. We have a called the support the Cuban people. 
where we take you to either a school to work with the school children for a little bit, an orphanage, or we might have you planting some trees, but something that um, is a little bit unique and we'll really get to see um, the majority of the hotspots in Cuba. Now, a couple of things I want to let people know on the call in case you are thinking about touring maybe with your family. We do have private touring. So again, ask your, your um, advisor about what that means because you can take any one of our tours in Europe, you can turn it into a private tour anywhere from one person up to 24 people. You will get the full tour just for your family or for your friends. And so it's a really nice way to um, spend some time if grandparents are taking the whole family on a trip and it can be just you. And we also have our small group discoveries which are only 24 to 28 people. So if you don't wanna be on a motor coach with perhaps 40 to 45 people, we will have small group discoveries. Again, the experts and travel leaders can give you all those details. And I just wanna end up a little bit with our Avalon waterways. We do have ships over in Europe and look at how beautiful that little girl is. So these are floating down the rivers of Europe. We do the Danube, we do the Rhine, we do the Seine. We do all kinds of ships, um, all kinds of rivers for you. And it just to give you an idea, these ships are 168 passengers. So what makes us so unique are cabins. Look at these beautiful cabins. Our panorama suites are 200 square feet. You have windows that are 11 feet wide. They're seven feet tall. And you can have a sheer or you can have a blackout curtain. And our beds face the window. So it sounds kind of ridiculous, but it's a really nice way to just see that 2,000 years of beauty going by you. And here's our lovely bathrooms. We use L'Occitan products, which is a high-end product. We have marble sinks, lovely big shower, just a really um, beautiful experience on your riverboat cruise. And of course, on Avalon, you can do many different things, but this was one of my favorite. This is, we do Christmas time cruises. So if you're looking to do um, a Christmas markets, if you've never done one, we do some on land. We do some on the ships as well but they are wonderful. Europe decorates like no place I've ever seen. And these candy stores, oh my gosh, I don't know how long it takes them to turn over into Christmas, but they're just so beautiful. So if you're looking for something fun, I will tell you these sell out very quickly. So if you're looking to do it, please talk to your advisor soon and get booked for next year. There probably is a few spaces this year for 2022 as well. Here's a Danube Dreams. So this is a wonderful little um, seven night package from Budapest all the way up into Prague. And you really get to see all these little cities along the way. And what makes these unique riverboat cruises, these are the, high, these are the highways of all these tiny little cities along the way. So you really get to see some beautiful tiny little towns. But look at, and here you get to see Vienna as well, another big city. There's guided sightseeing in there. One of our tours will take you to this wonderful gentleman who is an opera singer and he teaches you how to cook. So you get to cook your food and it's just so much fun over in there. So think about doing a river cruise. It's really one of the fastest type of touring that is out there because it's just so unique, so relaxing and so peaceful. And here is another tour, our Burgundy in Provence. And it's a wonderful tour. You're gonna to be able to see um, all of these beautiful places into Harles and all the way up into um, the Burgundy region. So you're gonna have a lovely vacation experience. So that is all that I have for us. I did get done in my 25 minutes. I can't believe that. <laughs> Thank you, Nancy. Wow, I, I gotta tell you that Ireland itinerary really caught my eye. That's kind of next up on my list in Europe. So I'm ready to just jet set over there right now and take that tour. Well, let's do it. <laughs> yes, that sounds amazing. Well, thank you so much, Nancy. I really appreciate your time today and giving us a flavor of what Globus and Avalon has to offer. And thank you all who attended live here today. If you have any questions following this webinar, please reach out to your travel advisor. We're happy to answer any questions you may have. And in case you want to follow up on any of this, we will have this on our YouTube channel if you want to share it with anybody that you'd like to have travel along with you. So thank you so much. That's what we have for you today. Have a Thanks wonderful everybody. day, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye.